Hey everyone, this is Lucky Poker, aka Dan Issel, coming at you, playing Shudder. I actually just launched this game, have not played it even for a minute, but uh, we'll see how it is. I looked up when I saw it on Humble Bundle, and it seemed like a horror exploration, maybe a little bit of puzzles going on, but you play from the perspective of a drone, which I haven't actually seen any horror games like that. Usually you control a person or something like that, and they get really tense, so we'll see how this goes. The music seems calming for a, uh, a horror game. So we'll go ahead and start the game. And we'll enter the puzzle horror. Press E to open computer. It's a strange looking computer. We need you to monitor our client's cabin with our new Raven Shield. Product, remote access view of environment and navigation systems. Our client just purchased the property and has been getting a lot of complaints from the neighbors about break-ins, noise issues, and graffiti. Try to get a photograph of the culprits. Download version is 0.7. Let's quick download. Chapter 1, a return to the cabin. Oh, I... Ooh, there's some distorting going on there. Let's see. Hit E to open the computer. Camera calibration. Hey, rookie, I'm Barry, your dispatcher. Follow my instructions to make this easier for the both of us. Turn on generator. Take photo of calibration test. Open the computer and upload the last photo. Yeah, Barry looks like a uh, straight shooter down there. All right. I don't rightly know. How do I take a picture? Yes, like that. Okay. And then upload last photo. Ah. Oh. Apparently that's not it. All right. E to turn on generator. Okay, there we go. Left mouse button will drain the RC battery. Release the mouse button to recharge battery. Press E to manually reset generator movement. WASD plus mouse. Okay, move faster, hold left shift. Oh, yeah, definitely. First person camera, which is kind of strange looking. Uh, left mouse, take a photo, hold the space bar. RC menu is E, which is the computer apparently, and quit is the escape button. Alright. Alright. Good work, rookie. The camera is now calibrated for full screen viewing. I've opened up the storage unit door. Looks like someone put a note on the front gate. Man, my nose is itchy. Get a picture of that note on the gate. That's a very bright note. Uh, and it came in clear as a day. April 7th, 1936. Finally, I've made it up to the cabin. My god, it's been so long since I've been up. The weeds are overtaking the gate. I can barely see the numbers. I guess I need to do some serious cleaning before I can start writing again. It's good to be back, but I don't know. It, it just feels different somehow. Normally, it's so quiet, but those damn crows have been acting up ever since I've arrived. They're just birds though, right? Press added to archives. Press Q to close. Can I go through the gate? I guess not. I have a new email. Okay. Oh. I've added 
that note to the archives section. We need you to confirm that we have the right address. Take a picture of the address numbers on the gate. Where would that even be? Apparently not over here. Perfect, I've opened up the gates so you can explore the country. The courtyard, I don't know why I said country. Use the first person camera with the left mouse to view the areas. The security cameras can't see. See if you can get a photograph of any graffiti. Oh, there's some graffiti. Nicely done, rookie. I can't seem to open the front door, or any of the doors for that matter. I'm usually a master of unlocking, I learned from the best. It's probably an electrical issue. Can you get a photo of the front door to see if anything is blocking it? Why sure, Barry. Since there's a giant wheelbarrow and shovel. Oh. Okay. Please return to the generator. I would if I knew. Yeah, that is one thing I will say. The controls are definitely funky. Uh, I don't remember how to do this. Oh, here it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean that's lightning strike. That was that was really strange. All the lights went out. I think the house might have been struck by lightning. At least I can open the front door now. However, the hallway lights seem to be out. Check for the hallway and take any take a photo of any evidence you find. I need to stop talking before I've read it all. Alright, so that's a camera. Yeah, I am I'm sketched out already. It's like not even that scary of a game. Okay, what was that? Oh, I'm recharging. I can't believe I jumped a little bit. I hear talking. Let me recharge a little bit before I do anything. Alright, there's a note here. April 14th, 1936. Maybe I'm just wound up. I don't know. I haven't felt a moment's peace since I've arrived. This place is normally a sanctuary, but I just can't seem to get settled. I've barely written a page in a week. For Christ's sake, I was just walking to the kitchen to get some more tea, and I nearly dropped my cup when the door slammed shut. The wind does play tricks up here sometimes. I'm sure that's all it was. I have to get those windows sealed before something gets in. I have a new email. Electrical issues. This is so weird. The hallway lights came on when you took a picture of that note. Must be a coincidence. I can't seem to open any other doors or turn on any of the lights. I keep looking around while I try to figure something out. What's going to jump out at me? Um, did that just shut? What is that? Um. What is all that? I'll upload it. Those look like light orbs, a common issue with our cameras. We're working on a software to fix that. We're working on a software fix for that. Man, looks like the wind slightly opened the door to the living room. I've gone ahead and opened it all the way. Still, I can't seem to turn on any lights or open any other doors. Monitor the living room. 
It's a giant hole in the wall. Ceiling. Wall. Both. Look at those light effects. Alright, that's where we came in. There's another door. There's a note. Let's see what this one says. April 17th, 1936. Finally started to feel like normal again for a, a little while, anyway. I guess I drifted off for a while and awoke to the sound of those bloody birds. I decided to read one of my books instead, but for some reason I just couldn't concentrate at all. I flipped through the pages mindlessly. I swear I paced that room a thousand times that night. Got scurrying, scouring, I don't know. Line for line and word for word and barely reading a thing. I remember laughing at the absurdity of it all. What? What's wrong with me? This isn't like me. I swear the wind is starting to whisper things. I don't... What is making that noise? The book is... I don't know if it's glitching out or it's part of the game. Okay, well there's no book there apparently. Oh. I hear laughter. Shouldn't have taken a picture of a book. Apparently nothing. Oh. Well, she's playing games with me, I know that. Really? Where is she? Come on. I don't... Oh. There's more light orbs. I have goosebumps. I don't even know why. Neat camera trick, rookie. You made it look like the book is floating. I don't even see a book there. <laughs> Must be the angle you took it from. Version 1.0 of our software is coming out shortly, which should fix that orb issue and hopefully give me back control of the lights and doors. Look for more suspicious activity while I work on sending you that book. clock is creeping me out. There are orbs there. Might as well upload it as well. Well, it looks like the next patch update is ready. Good luck wasting my time taking pictures of orbs now. Patch notes. Orb issues fixed. Fisheye lens removed. Full color pictures. Chapter 2, The Stroke of Midnight. I'm still having electrical issues here. All I can do is open up the bedroom door. Why don't you head in there and test out the new camera? Alright. Is that the bedroom? Oh, okay. Well, that was not comforting. Um, yeah, I will say, this game is not, you know, much, but it's definitely giving me a, kind of a little bit of a chill. I'm, I'm a real pansy when it comes to horror games. I don't play them normally. There's something about this one that I saw, and it really just kind of reached out to me. I mean, it was like, a, I think I paid like a dollar fifty for it. So I don't think that's too bad. Let me upload this bloody satanic bed. Apparently you are not interested in the blood. Okay. See, now the camera looks a lot better. I'm going to take a picture of myself in the mirror. I don't know why, but... Yeah, that, that camera definitely looks a lot better. You can see a ton more. It was that fisheye that was just ghastly. Oh, too close. 
April 19, 1936, I decided to leave for a while today and went into town. I had a rather unsettling conversation with a police constable. When he found out that I was staying alone at, up at my cabin, and when I told him about the whispering sounds I was hearing, I could see the disapproving look in his eyes. With a sneer, he said, fragile things like you shouldn't be staying up in those woods without a husband present. Ugh, smug bastard. I didn't bother telling him that I was the owner of the cabin. He probably wouldn't believe that I could afford it on my own anyways. Maybe that conversation got to me more than I realized, though. Usually my music box puts me right to sleep, but as I was drifting off, I swear I saw a shadow standing in my bed. In a panic, I hurled my music box at it. I could still hear the shattering across the room. I just stood there staring at the box, elegantly mangled between shards of glass. It will probably never sound the same again. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I would probably, if I was laying there half asleep, and I saw a shadow, I'd probably throw something at it too. I hear a music box, of course I do. Okay, something's gonna jump at me. Of course, it like bent over. That's cool. I'm going to get scared. I don't quite want to stay in here. Of course, I have to. What's gonna, what's gonna jump at me? Take another picture, maybe? Let me through a door. Now, see, this stuff is building tension, and it's it's getting to me now. I mean, come on, this isn't even, like, a legitimate scare-yourself-to-death game, and it's, it's, it's getting to me. I mean, I don't... I'm hoping that I don't jump and scream. That's not my thing normally with games, but, uh, I don't know. I really don't know what to do. I guess I'll try to upload the picture again. Nah, what am I looking at? That was, that's weird. There has to be something that I'm missing. Oh God, I... why? Why Why do I forget about that? And why does it scare me every time? I'm telling you, this game is, is messing with me. That mirror is, is creepy. It's like wavy. I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna take another picture of that music box. I started moving. I don't really know why. For being hurled across the room, it was actually pretty good. You know, there's the glass. He must have hit the window. That must be what it was. I'm I'm thoroughly confused. Hmm. Okay, there's a woman there. Well, a dress. Oh. Okay. She's crying. Why? Okay. Hi there. Don't scare me. Don't jump at me. Thank you. I'm gonna go upload your photo. Rookie, that's clearly just the light reflecting off the mirror. Nothing unusual about that. I've managed to open up the dining room. I still have no control of the lights. How are you able to keep turning them on? Uh... Yeah, I'm... Gonna get scared. I don't know where I'm going. Of course. Oh, shit. Hmm. I should've, I should've known. Why, why didn't I know? No, I need to stop taking pictures of these freaking notes. Every time I do, something happens. And then I get scared for my own camera running out of battery. April 20th, 20th 1936. I'm not paranoid, but, but something is amiss. I know it. 
The lights shut off tonight. At first, the lights just started flickering. Then, total darkness. There wasn't even a storm, not even a drop of rain outside. Thank God there was a candle close by. The whispering is getting louder, but I fear it's useless to tell the local police. They would just laugh again and call me a frail. So I'm thinking that the green is like key words or key phrases, I suppose, that are kind of telling me what to take a picture of. I haven't really been paying attention until now, but I guess it's worth looking at. I'm sure this door is going to shut if I go over to it. Yeah. Is there... What is there? What is that? Flickering. Let's take... Mm-hmm. There's a candle floating. Lovely. Thank you, madam, sir, ghost. Don't scare me. Upload. Sigh. Why is this picture so distorted? It looks like you found a new bug with the 1.0 update. These types of things are expected with software development. I was able to open the back door, head into the backyard, and see if you can find any more graffiti. Okay. Graffiti. Generator's gonna go out. This is weird 8-bit graffiti. Like, who, who paints 8-bit eight, eight graffiti on cabins in the wood? Is that a shed? I didn't realize that was back there. It's not in my notes. Luckily, the install crew set up a camera inside. I can open the shed door for you. Yay. Thank you, Barry. Let's take a picture of these crows. It's not going to do anything, but I... That's a nice little picture. Is this a shed? Yeah. It's the same type of walls. Um, oh, it's a note. Of course it is. So we haven't had anything that's actually been scary so far, so we'll just have to see. I mean, it's getting close. I hear that, like, demonic voice talking every so often. I've noticed it three times, two times right before the generator went out. Um, I have scared myself with letting my battery run out by looking at first person too long. But regardless, April 24th, 1936. Those scraping metal teeth, that's all I can hear. Oh God, the door, it won't stop pounding. Like, it will open and devour me at any second. I have to keep it closed, I have to keep it closed. Can never let it out. They can't know, they won't believe. Why can't I stop shaking? Yep, there's, there's a demon here. And I'm gonna leave. Okay, I can't leave, of course not. Um, hello? Okay, where'd the shovel go? Was there not, wasn't there just, I gotta look at the picture. There wasn't. I'm gonna upload that though. Okay. Oh, it just got louder. I made him mad. I'm sorry, Mr. Demon. I didn't, I'm just gonna upload this just in case. Okay, there's a chair floating. Why is there a shadow of a chair? It's a, it's a person shadow walking. It's, but why is it shaped like a chair? It's a very strange shaped human. How do you keep getting these distorted photos? No one else is getting it. Our, our engineers can't reproduce it. We're working on another software update. Keep looking around, rookie. Okay, there's a chair there now. Where the dirt that was there? I'm so confused. What the heck was that? Oh. Um. I guess I have to go through and cut the generator back on. Is that a... I... 
I see the orbs. Okay, apparently he can't see the orbs. Okay, I guess this is the time that I get scared. Is, can you see anything? Okay. I don't know what's scarier, first person or the third person. Something shining. It's a shovel with a note, maybe? I don't know. I am legitimately getting chills. <laughs> okay, apparently that's nothing I do. Oh god! I don't. Ah. Uh, uh, gosh. Why? <laughs> Why do I? Why would I put myself through this? It's not even that scary. You all are gonna watch this and probably laugh. Which, feel free to do, but you know, you can always subscribe and and you know follow me on Twitter if you care. Okay, all I have to do is take a picture really quick before it talks, and I won't be that scared. Is that cheating? I want to know what's causing this. There's seemingly nothing here. Wait. What is that? Is there something in the dining room that I missed? Uh, oh, now you want me to go and cut the generator on. Yeah, that's a camera just laying there. Something's gonna get me, something's gonna jump. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, look. 2.0 upgrade. What was that all about? Looks like the software engineers were able to fix that bug you found. I still can't seem to open any doors, though. Give me a few minutes here. Patch notes fix distortion bug, quote unquote, night vision photos, and HD camera. Alright, chapter three. Well, I will go ahead and probably end the video here for part one. We got through two chapters, and I'll start the video up at chapter three. So, uh, hopefully, you all enjoyed it, and like I said, remember to uh, like and uh, subscribe if you'd like to. You can also look me up on Twitch and Tumblr and Twitter and all that really. I mean, I'll have all my usernames in the About Me section on my channel. So yeah, thank you. Uh, leave any comments you want and uh, see you next time.